Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I'm excited to bring you a new project that I have just finished and it's not a wearable. Coincidentally, it happens to be a really great gift idea if you are making things for the friends, family, and loved ones in your life. Um, it is the Clam Up Zippered Pouches by, by Annie.com or Patterns by Annie. And um, for me, personally, I made them for myself because I'm a hashtag selfish sewist. <laughs> That's just the way that it goes. Um, I have been doing a lot of road trips lately. And so I wanted to make something for all of my toiletries um, where I didn't have to worry about um, security, check-in with the clear vinyl bags and all of that kind of stuff. I wanted something really cute that I could bring with me just for like a weekend trip or an overnight trip. Um, so I made this toiletry bag set um, that I think is really cute and I'm so excited about it. Um, of course, I had to incorporate my Cricut Maker because it just elevates everything and makes everything cuter when you can kind of embellish it a little bit even more than it already is embellished. But um, here are two of them. Here's one for hair. Here's one for body. And I brought out these two so you could see how I alternated the fabrics and I alternated the zippers. So on the inside, which these are awesome because they zip from one end all the way to the other end, which is really nice for toiletries because you can get it open and get into your toiletries really easily. Um, look how huge that is. It's like my whole face can fit in here. <laughs> um, anyway, so you can see that the lining of this one is the outer of this and then vice versa. You can also see that I interlined it, I guess, outer lined it with some vinyl so that if anything were to spill in here, it's not going to make a huge mess. Um, obviously these little guys would get messy, but like the whole interior of the bag is going to be for the most part protected from any liquids and stuff. Um, so I thought that that was a really, I mean, it is an extra step, but I thought that it would kind of prolong the life of these, um, uh, little guys, especially since I would be carrying liquids and toiletries in them, I guess, depending on how you use them and how you organize them, you may not need to do the vinyl, but there are um, kind of like instructions in the instruction set if you are gonna be incorporating vinyl or if you're not. Um, so I have a hair, I have a body, I have face, teeth, and lips. So I wanted to make them all kind of like body parts and that would coordinate with the kind of products that go in them. So next to my pack, for example, the hair stuff is going to be my travel hairbrush, my travel straightener, my travel shampoo and conditioner. And surprisingly, even though this one isn't very big, all of that stuff will fit in here because it is smaller size. I don't really carry around full size stuff anyways. Um, it's all the travel stuff. So that'll fit in here. And then the body one is again, like body wash and lotions and things like that. Face is my face cleanser and my moisturizer. Um, teeth is travel toothbrush, travel toothpaste, travel mouthwash, dental floss. You can fit all of that in there. And then the lips one is like chapsticks and lip glosses and things like that that aren't normally in my um, makeup bag. The makeup bag really usually only has like lips sticks in it. Um, anyway, so I thought that that was a pretty kind of comprehensive toiletry, toiletry kit, but you can label them however you want. That's the beauty of making them for yourself. Um, so I had a lot of fun making these patterns or making these um, bags. I thought that the instructions were really great. Same with the take a stand tote that I did. Um, very thorough, very complete, and they also have those add-on videos um, where it's like a video tutorial uh, that is an additional component to the printed out instructions. You can't really make the bags without the written instructions, but you could make them without the videos, but the videos just make it make certain sections much clearer. It's not 
every step. It's just the ones that are a little bit more difficult to explain or difficult to illustrate. And as with the take a stand tote, I thought that the um, add on videos were really helpful and help you get that really great professional finish that I think by any patterns are really known for. Um, these are also um, uh, lined. I don't know the prop. See, I'm still learning about bag making. I don't know the proper terminology, but it does have the soft and stable um, foam batting on the inside, which is what is keeping them so upright and so stable. Um, I, again, really, really, really love that product. Um, I have enjoyed adding it to all these bags and just giving them so much more just stability and honestly, like a professional touch. I mean, this is what you can expect from buying bags um, in the store. And I love that you can do that at home too. So I just wanted to show you the inside again so you guys can see kind of how the construction is there. These little tabs are what enables it to kind of open up so wide. Isn't that cool? But it also keeps it from just completely flopping open. Um, so that's cute detail. And then there's a little bit of bias tape or binding on the inside to cover the raw edges there. But yeah, all in all, I think these are super adorable. Love the tabs. There's also some instructions if you wanted to do like a different style of tab, like instead of rectangle, if you want to do a triangle one, there's instructions for that. There's also instructions if you wanted to add a key fob, you might want to attach like the itty bitty one to your um, belt loops or to like the inside of your bag. Like if you were gonna keep lipstick or lip gloss or stuff in there permanently, um, you could attach that to the inside of your handbag. That way they don't get lost in the bottom, which we know can it can happen. If you wanted to attach them to your child and like put snacks in them, or I've seen people putting like bags attached to the, um, car seat so that they don't fall on the floor or get thrown on the floor. You could attach these bags anywhere with that, with the instructions for the keep up is my point. Lots of really great ideas there. Um, so it is pretty versatile um, with lots of different options and you can see how varying the sizes are. I mean, the itty bitty one is itty bitty and then it goes all the way up to this size so i really like that um obviously you don't have to make all five sizes if you don't think that that kind of jives with whatever project you have in mind you could just make all big ones um but you know going back to the gift ideas i think these would make adorable um like bridesmaids gifts if you put their names on them or you know if you have like a preteen in your life she might like them for her very first makeup bag because you know you don't have a ton of makeup whenever you're just getting started i think that that would be a super cute sweet um idea especially if you used your cricut maker also to get their names on there or something you know kind of personalized about them monogram or Maybe if they're into tennis, you put a tennis racket on there or, you know, ballet slippers or whatever it is. It would be really cute and really sweet for the holidays. So um, we still have our um, coupon code that is still available from buyannie.com. So check the description box for that information and a link where you can find the clam up pattern. And don't forget that the add-on videos normally cost $5, but when you buy the pattern, you get a code um, that makes those free. So it completely, you know, erases the cost of the add-on videos. But I hope you guys really like these. I love them so much and can't wait to get to use them. I have somewhere that I'm going, very exciting, um, that involves sewing. Um, a little road trip that we are taking that I'll tell you guys all about a little bit later when we get closer to the trip. It's not that far off. Um, but um, so you guys will see these in action really soon. So uh, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.